Okay, so here is the actual video that I was gonna do today, besides all the other videos I did today and yesterday. I decided to put a little makeup on, do a little something with my hair, which is nothing because it's got its own wave going on today. So I'm just kind of letting my hair just be and do its own little thing. Um, so I have not done one of these videos since before my daughter was born. So that was back in 2010, 2009 maybe. Um, but I saw one of my favorite YouTubers do this and I was like, you know, that's a really good idea because I actually am constantly running out of ideas of what to make for my channel and I never know what to do. And I'm trying to get someplace with my channel. So it's kind of hard when you're, you don't know what to make. It's like, I don't know what content to actually, what is that? Oh, this is my hair curling itself. So anyways, I'm going to do a what's in my purse video. Some things I'm going to show you, some things I'm obviously not going to show you because privacy. So I'm not going to do all that, but some things I don't really give a crap. I will show you what's in my video in my purse. I don't care. I'm for real. I'm 100. Um, I'm a real person. I am a real Michigan mom and I'm a low income mother. So I'm not, you know, living it up over here and I'm woo -woo, I got tons of money. So there are going to be things that you're going to see and be like, oh, she's poor as crap. Um, but I just don't lie. This is who I am. So this is my what's in my purse video. And this is what my purse looks like. It's just a plain black bag. I absolutely love this purse. It smells like leather. I absolutely love this purse. I got this purse about, I want to say about four or five months ago. Yes, I did get it from a thrift store. But this is a Volganic rock purse, and I actually price checked this online. This is not expensive at all. The top price of this one was like $30. It's not even that great. But I'm telling you, the storage in this thing, the easy access, just the material in general of the, the dedication that they put into their purses, like the care that they put into these things, that I just love this purse. I love the color of it. It's just so like comfy, and it's very durable, and it's very like it's it gets it all in there um i like the little hoop to hoops on it one thing i love about it is that i can put my um bus pass i put my bus pass on it i got my house key right here and i can just easily just put my little key ring and i just take my purse and i just hook it on the little loop and there you go so when i get on the bus all i gotta do is reach under my purse and go like this and just flash it and i get on the bus i don't have to like stress about it so I like that. I like the little hoopty hoops. Um, so it has, like I said, it has a ton, ton, ton of pockets on it. So it has a back pocket. I don't really use this for much. I don't really use this for anything. I actually think right now it's got a bag of hot sauce in it. Yeah. I have my little bag of hot sauce and honey that I took from KFC because when I'm out and about, if I want some hot sauce or something or whatever to put on my food, that's the Southern in me. Um, it's going to happen. Yes hot sauce in my bag, like Beyonce said, but it's for real, I do. Um, and then I have like this little secondary pocket, actually, that's the third, this is the third section. This section holds a lot. So this is the section that I'm gonna show you the stuff that I carry in my bag. Wow, I just realized there's another pocket in here. There's a pocket inside of a pocket inside of a pocket. That's insane, I'm not even kidding. Like lots of storage space, lots. So I always make sure that I have a bottle of lotion of some sort in my purse. I have severely dry skin. I got started getting dry skin in my late 30s. Basically, all the moisture in my body is gone. Um, I don't really know what's up with that, but I can't even wash my hands in a public restroom. My hands are like, they just dry out. So always make sure that I have a bottle of lotion in my purse. Obviously, if you don't carry around hand, san hand sanitizer in your purse, what are you doing? Like, what do we do? We don't live in that kind of world where we can just freely walk around like that now. Um, I always have a bottle of hand sanitizer in my purse, especially when I take public transportation. It's disgusting, right? We don't want to get on a bus and you're touching things and those people are disgusting and you're like, no, no hate. I'm a bus rider, but I'm saying that there are a lot of other people that are out there that are disgusting. So I always carry a bottle of hand sanitizer on me all the time. Plus I have kids and they're gross. I have a pen. Probably have more of these in my purse. <laughs> Gotta have a pen. You always have to have a pen, especially when you're a mom. 
Um, I have my headphones, obviously, so I can block out people's conversations and bull crap that I don't want to hear when I'm on the bus or when I'm out at a grocery store and they're playing music and I hate it and I don't want to listen to it, I pop those in. I have like auditory problems and I'm like, and I get anxiety if I'm listening to it. So I also have a spare pair of glasses in my purse. This is my old prescription, um, but I always keep these on me just in case I either A, lose my new prescription because I take them off my head or something, I set them down and I walk away and then I lost my glasses. Um, I still have my old pair in here. I have horrible night vision. I cannot see if I'm out with my family at night. For example, we were at the beach the other night and we were having fun and all of a sudden the sun started going down. It started to get worse and worse for me. I was going like this and I didn't have my glasses because I didn't bring my purse. And I was like, we have to go because we were riding bikes. So I ruined the whole entire little moment for the family because I was going blind. My husband had to lead us home because I couldn't see. So that was fun. Um, the other thing that I have on me, my husband mostly and my grandma pushed this on me, but I keep a knife on me at all times. This is just a little uh, Swiss army knife. It's just got like everything in it. It does have a knife in it, but it also has like tweezers. It's got like a screwdriver. I don't know. I guess if I need to like fix somebody's bike or something, but anyways, I have a knife on me at all times. I have chapstick because in the winter, my lips, like I said, they just dry out. I get really red, you know, and also sometimes it happens to me during PMS. I've noticed my lips will get really, really dried out and they get blood red. And, um, it's not cool. I don't like that. I don't like that feeling. It really bugs me. So I always have a thing of chapstick all the time. I'm trying to get this one thing out. So this was actually my spare pair of glasses and I love these things. Um, these are my favorite. Yeah, they broke. They broke like at the beginning of summer. These are my favorites. I love these glasses and I am taking these to the eye doctor and they're going to have to replace the arm on it. It's either that or I'm going to have to get a similar pair. Um, yeah, my old faithfuls, they broke. But I can always take them back to my eye doctor and they said they're going to fix them for me. I just forgot to bring them in last time I was there, like an idiot, so. Always keep the Lord with me at all times. I always keep him with me. I also have another cross that I keep with me. I usually put it in my jeans pants. My jeans pants. What? I put them in my jeans pocket. Um, and I, it's my, actually, it's my ex-husband's. He doesn't even know I have it, but he's not getting it back. Um, it's just like a silver cross and it has like a little, um, design on it. It's beautiful. And I usually keep that in my pants pocket. And then this one stays in my purse at all times. I got this from church and I love this. It's a little cross on a hill. No, actually, I just, I just love this. Everybody needs the Lord. So there you go for that. Nail clippers because my five-year-old, I don't know what's wrong with him, but his nails grow like weeds. And sometimes when we're on the bus, he'll just grab me and I'm like, ow, and it feels like a cat scratch. So hang nails happen, they, it drives me insane. Or if you're wearing flip-flops and you look down and your toes be looking crazy and you can sneak off to a bathroom someplace. Yes, I'm that weird. I keep a thing of nail clippers in my purse, so got my compact with me um the sponge thing fell out I don't know where it went and it disappeared so um but I keep this I keep it mostly for the mirror because I'm kind of OCD I never really know what I look like and I've had instances where my husband why he failed to tell me this why he did this I don't know and if he watches this video why do you do this I don't know but we were out in public I was laughing. I was like, ah, 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 you know, laughing. And I had crap stuck in my teeth. Like, cause we ended up going someplace and I had like black things stuck in my teeth. He didn't tell me until the end of the day. You know why? Because I said to him, you have something in your teeth. And he looked at me and he went, you've had stuff stuff and you're stuck in your teeth all day. Sure crap, I opened up this and there, why? 
I don't know. Like, why would you do that to someone? I don't, I don't get that at all, but he did, so it was weird. Um, no, I never walk around without my mirror now, because my husband's mentally challenged. I feel like there's something floating around in my purse right now that doesn't want to come out. Oh, a dime. So, I also have my Old Faithful lipstick. This is almost gone. I bought this back when my youngest was like a baby. Um, it's by L'Oreal. It's Honey Matte. It's my favorite lipstick, and as you can tell, it's almost gone. It's so smooth. There's my smell. It takes me back to good times. Um, I bought a dupe of this. I call it a dupe, but it really is not a dupe. As you can tell when I just put it on, this one's a little bit more different. I had a, like a, a dupe color on of this I got from the Dollar Tree. And um, I've been using that one instead of this because I'm trying to save this one. So I don't usually use this too much. Um, but if I'm out and about and I'm in a hurry and I'm someplace and I can hurry and put makeup on on the bus, then I just throw that on. Obviously, I have concealer. I'm a mom. I don't really get a lot of sleep. And I get really bad dark circles under my eyes. And I'm a very pale person. So sometimes I have to like even out my skin tone. So I always keep my concealer in my bag at all times. Now, a majority of the time when I'm on the bus and say I'm going to somebody's house or I'm in a, you know, I'm going someplace and I know I look like garbage, 99% of the time it's usually just my mascara and this. That's usually all I use is my concealer and mascara together. I don't usually bust out the cover girl and all that. Um, if I'm going someplace that's like, say like a job interview or something, then I bust out the, you know, we got the lipstick, we got the cover girl, we got it all right here. These are my four buddies and we all hang out and these are really good in a flash when you need to look presentable and not look like you're just walked out of a dumpster. So yeah, mascara, concealer, a very good nude lipstick and a compact. I cannot, if my daughter watches this video, if you get a purse, girl, little girl, make sure you always keep a con compact, your favorite lipstick, a concealer, and mascara. It's all you need and you'll be good. You know what I'm saying, girl? She watches my video, so she probably won't watch this one, but whatever. Okay, so that's that pocket. I'm trying to put everything away as I go because I have a lot of crap in my hands. I have a lot of crap. Come across the way. My headphones, my glasses. Alright. There's that. Next pocket is the main pocket, which holds my wallet. I'm not gonna go through my wallet. I'm not gonna show you what's in here because that is way too private. There's addresses on here, but it's just a black smooth shiny wannabe gucci wallet it's not gucci it's fahucci no i'm just kidding it's gachi it's literally from the dollar store i think i got this from i want to say dollar treasure in my old neighborhood but i loved it i liked how shiny it was and it was like I think it was like $5.99 it wasn't even the next month so i was like hey yeah shoot and it's got tons of pockets in it it's a great wallet What's this? Um, always have paperwork in my purse all the time. I'm not really going to show you that, but it's got addresses on it and stuff. Constantly. All the time. I have paperwork in my purse. All the time. It's always from my landlord. The Social Security office because my son's disabled. You name it. Why? I don't know why I keep this earring in me. In me? Ugh. In my purse. I love it. But I can't find the partner to it. I have no idea where she's at. Um, but I have a really big fascination for Native American jewelry or Native American art. Um, I love Native American anything. I love Native American people. Because um, they're right, we're wrong. So I always keep this earring. I don't know why. It just reminds me of Native American culture. It's gorgeous. It's like turquoise colored and it's got like these little leather looking strappy things and 
I can't find the partner to it, but I keep it. You know, maybe one day I'll find the partner. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> like I said, paperwork, receipts, always, and most of it's all for my landlord. I have to keep it in my purse at all times because my landlord is a pain and she literally will just call me and just, somebody's going to ask. Somebody's going to ask for something. And so I always want to be prepared when it comes to housing and stuff. And then I have my updated prescription in my purse. I always keep this with me, obviously, because it's updated and I have to have this. I can't see in grocery stores very well. So um, I'm pretty much legally blind. I'm getting there. Um, why I don't wear these 24 seven, I'm always afraid I'm gonna lose them because I set things down and then I just lose them. My son's got his glasses in here and he's about as bad as I am. He don't wear them. He's supposed to wear them. He's pretty much legally blind too. But the only thing is, I don't like these glasses. Um, I'm not really a fan of them. I don't know why I picked these glasses out, but I think it was more or less I thought they were very sophisticated. I don't like the way they make my nose look. My nose looks very prominent. And I think it was like the gold effect to it. I really like the gold. And they were by themselves. Like they were just sitting by themselves. That and I think they kind of remind me of my father. So I grabbed them. I don't know. Some days I like them, some days I don't. Today they don't look too bad with my hair, but now I can actually see with these on. But um, I don't like wearing them all the time because I'm always afraid they're either going to bust like my old ones or I'm going to lose them. But I always keep them in my purse. Like I said, I can't see in grocery stores at all. I'm blind. And forget driving. If I have to drive somebody's car or something or if they want me to take them home on this night, if I don't have those, we all gonna. All right, so, like I said, I got my bus pass. I usually keep that in my purse when it's not being used because I don't like people knowing that I ride the bus. There's stalkers out there. So, um, I just keep it in my purse. I don't want people knowing my business anyways, even though I just put all my business all over YouTube, but I don't know what's wrong with me. I really don't. All right, next pocket. A freaking receipt. I think this next pocket, I used to hold my cigarettes in it because I stopped smoking about a month ago because I started getting sick. So I actually have my cigarettes and my lighter in that pocket. I don't anymore because I don't smoke. Um, I quit again. So this pocket right here, I always use for spare change. So when anybody gives me change when I'm in the grocery store, that's why I love this first. I don't have to think about it. I just go like that. I open up my front pocket and all the change is right here in my front pocket. I just open it up, throw it in there. I'm on my way. I ain't got to sit there and fool around with anything. Um, I don't have to sit there and question where my change is. If I need change, front pocket. This purse has made a lot of competition for a lot of purses out there because whenever I go out into the store and I'm thinking about buying a new purse, I'm always kind of like, Oh, because I, it don't look like this and it doesn't have like all these pockets and it doesn't have the durability of this one. I do have a white purse that's kind of like a crochet look to it. Um, I do like that one a lot. It has a sentimental attachment to it, but, um, I'm not going to go into detail about that because it's too private, but, um, I don't usually use that one unless it's hot out. I usually will use that one in the spring, that's more or less like my spring purse and I don't use a lot because it's white and I don't wanna destroy it. But anyways, that was my what's in my purse video. And like I said, this is a Volganic Rock purse. They have other colors of this one. I'm thinking about getting a tan one and it's the same design. It's the same many pockets. It's no different to it at all. Um, I have been to other stores where I've seen purses that are similar to this, but it don't have the durability and it doesn't have the design as well as it just doesn't have as many pockets like it just don't so i'm officially obsessed with this purse i don't i love it it's my favorite so that's it that's my what's in my purse video and this is my kids' closet that they refuse to keep organized so i'm done with summer break and that's it peace out hope to speak to y'all again soon and thank you for watching my videos as usual